Well, hi guys, Emre again. Uh, this is part two of this Sturmy Archer rebuild. I've been down today and got a couple of bits of two mil sheet. This is just black mild seal sheet. Um, guillotined out. They're a little bit oversized, but they'll, these are for the flanges on the hub. I've just marked them and uh, marked the center and and center punched them there so we can set them up. I'm going to put them in the four jaw and machine the insides out. But first, we need to start pulling this hub down. So that's the next job. Well, now that's all apart. Quite a job. It's a pretty self explanatory thing. It's got 84 years of dirt and ick in there. Needs a good wash up next. But that's the main cage, that's what we're going to be working on. And these are all the bits. It's the balls and the ratchets and the gears there and the castellated parts. Nothing seems seriously worn. Just look in here, this is the ratchets have had a hard life, but I think they'll probably go back together. There's no chips or anything on them. There's lots of dirt in here. It's pretty grotty. With the sprocket. And the, the clutch coupling. And the cones are much better condition than the ones in the bike. And they've got cage bearings here, so whether we put new balls in and whether we put them all back together, I don't know. So next thing is to give all this a bit of a clean up. I'm not going to show that on this video because it's going to be gross. So my battery went flat on my, on my camera, so I've skipped forward a bit here while I've charged to make the most of the time that I've got today. What I've done is set this up nice in the in the four jaw the second way around. I've already taken the, the flange off the inside there. And I've put the, the outside nut back in and I've set this up and I'm gonna just machine this one down the same. It's interrupted cut for a lot of the way, but it seems to do the last one managed okay. You go through and and we're going to a nice sharp tool on some light cuts and, and we'll just clean that up. I won't show you all the operation because it is a, a fairly slow, fairly, fairly fine little turning job. But here we go. It's running pretty sweet. Won't take very much at all at a time there. I don't think it'd come out, but um, better to be safe than sorry. I don't want to damage this beyond repair. I don't want to put it through the window or something. So we're only taking about. tenth of a millimetre there at a time. It's not a big cut. So that's the front that's the other end down to the right same same diameter as the other seat. So 
pretty pleased about that. We'll take them out of the truck now. And do number one and two, so if we've got to put him back, it won't be such an ordeal. And that's it. Pretty much nice. Something that is interesting is that if you have a look here, you can see that. This is a double start thread on this end. And finishes two threads there and two threads there. So why that's made like that I don't know. This the other end isn't, but the other end's a left hand thread in the back here. That took some getting undone actually, I had to warm him up a bit. But um, it's all apart now. So that's the basically that's the, the outer shell and it's ready to, to make some ends and to silver solder them in. So that's probably the end of video part two and thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the rest and I'll start in on, on making the, the flanges for it.